make sure to check out my instagram page the link is in the description of this video i'll be posting three medical facts every day on my instagram page so make sure to check it out hey guys welcome back to another episode of guess the diagnosis today we have a case of a 37 year old lady who works in a cattle shed came with complaints of fever with night sweats joint pain abdominal pain lethargy weakness and other non-specific symptoms which are present for a month when asked about the fever in detail she says that the fever is present for a few weeks and then in between uh, she doesn't have fever at all and then fever comes back again and lasts for a few weeks and that's how it goes on examination of this patient we find that this patient has hepatosplenal vagali which is enlargement of liver and spleen apart from that there are no other specific findings So based on the experience of your consultant, he says that you have to carry your blood cultures in castaneda medium and you do the same. And on observing the growth in the medium under microscope by doing gram staining, you observe that there are gram negative coccobacilli. So what is the diagnosis based on the given details? I'll give you 5 seconds time to guess the diagnosis. Well, if you guessed it as brucellosis, congratulations, you're right. Now, how do we come to the diagnosis of brucellosis? The clues in the case are that the patient was working in a cattle shed. So that is a risk factor for developing brucellosis. People who are in close contact with the infected products of the animal, of the infected products of the animals like blood products and infected dairy products, and all are at a high risk of developing uh, brucellosis. And the type of fever which this patient had, the pattern which is called as undulating fever. So as this patient had, there will be episodes of fever which lasts for about a few weeks, and then the fever subsides and the temperature returns to baseline. And then again the, again, the patient develops fever. So this is called as undulating fever. And as this patient had, that will be hepatosplenum megali. And uh, we had another clue, which is gram-negative coccobacilli seen on, which, are, which are grown on castaneda medium. So these are the clues which we had in this case, which helped us diagnose brucellosis. So in brucellosis, the clinical features are fever with night sweats and the type of fever is undulating fever which I have described now and there will be joint pain which is arthralgia, hepatosplenomegaly and various non-specific symptoms. Diagnosis is usually done by serological tests like SAT and ELISA. SAT stands for standard agglutination test and as we have done in this case we can do blood culture or bone marrow culture in biphasic media like castaneda media and Molecular methods like PCR are, is, are highly sensitive and specific tests than any other tests. And we had to note that blood, um, the blood culture becomes negative after starting antibiotics, but bone marrow culture is highly sensitive and it remains positive even after starting antibiotics. Treatment of brucellosis involves rifampicin given once daily for about six weeks and doxycycline given twice daily for six weeks. Both of these are combined and given for brucellosis. That's it. We came to the end of the video. You can watch more episodes of Guess the Diagnosis by clicking on the link you see on the screen right here. And these are the other channels update. So when these videos are ready, these will be added in the description. And if you guys want the lecture slides of this video, you can download it from clicking on the link on the description, which will be added soon. So make sure to check it out. So make sure to hit the like button and share this video to your friends and subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon so that you can keep watching all of our upcoming videos for free. And yep, you will receive, uh, we'll be making this the diagnosis videos every Friday. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will not miss it out. So thank you so much for watching this video till the end guys. 
so you can keep watching more videos by clicking on the videos which you see on the screen right here and have a nice day i'll see you guys in my next video bye